What is going on guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you. Hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl tonight. But I want to talk a little bit more about the, the Mutt situation going on with Belgium and the FIFA packs and how they can all intertwine. I wanted to show you right now what happens in Mutt. You know, Mutt gives you the option to buy with points, which are direct from currency, coins you can earn in the game, uh, this Fire Fantasy Pack. And it lets you know you're going to choose an 89 plus overall player, a guaranteed 92 plus overall legend, and a 94 to 95 overall Super Bowl player. But you also have these packs here, which are a little bit more confusing because you can purchase these, as you can see, with in-game currency like coins that you earn through playing or the points which you can purchase right out. And this is where transparency becomes an issue. You know, it's telling you that you're going to choose from four gold or better 73 plus overalls and 186 overall or better Super Bowl player. So you really don't get a firm grasp of what you're going to receive as far as player value. You know what you're going to get, but you don't know what the value of those players are going to be. Now, it's interesting you look at a game like NBA Live, which is an EA title as well. They're very transparent in what their packs have, and they give you actually percentages of what you're going to receive in these packs. And this is not something that I see currently in Mountain Ultimate Team. And to take this out of the video game realm and go into tops, I've talked about the Huddle app a couple times. They do it a much more transparent way where you can use their coins, which are an in-game currency that you earn through playing or diamonds, which is an in-game currency you earn via purchase. And you can see it actually tells you what the odds are. You know, if I'm going to buy this Valor pack, I've got a 1 in 10 chance of getting a base, a 1 in 100 chance in getting a Gridiron Warriors. So there's a very transparent purchase to the user. I know what my odds are. To go one step further, if you are going to purchase the packs with actual currency, they make it so you are guaranteed one of the premium cards. So in this example, if I'm willing to spend money on diamonds, I will be guaranteed a playoff based gold card with my purchase. And then I see there's an increased odd down the line of what else I can get. And then again, at the bottom, you see the odds per pack of what I'm going to receive. And this to me really is the core of what's wrong with Ultimate Team. They don't provide this level of transparency. And when you don't do this, you have to ask yourself why. Now, to me, I would think the reason they don't do this is quite frankly, they don't want the buyers to know the slim chance they have of getting this card and hope that the buyers will continue to purchase packs with the hope that they would continue to get the cards or multiple cards that they need to complete a set to create the actual card that they want to receive. And without transparency, there is, some could say, a form of gambling there because you don't know what you're going to receive. And unlike this, where you could say, okay, you know, it's the same principle. I could still be purchasing three or four or five packs, but at least I know what my guarantee is. At least there's a baseline in my mind of how many packs I need to purchase in order to get the cards that I want. If I need two platinum cards, playoff based platinum cards, I know I have an option of getting two of them if I purchase six packs. And that is what is missing in Madden right now, in my opinion, needs to be changed immediately. We need transparency from this game, and we need to know what our purchases are going to be getting us. Not just people in the community, but people out that buy this game at retail and want to play this game and feel like they have a fair shot at competing. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out. Back very shortly with more commentary.